to write the Lewis structure for NH4OH, we actually have to write two different Lewis structures. That's because NH4OH, ammonium hydroxide, is made up of two ions. We have the NH4 ion, which has positive charge, and then the hydroxide ion, and that has a negative charge. So if you were to put this in water, it would dissolve into the ammonium ion and then the hydroxide ion. Let's do the ammonium ion first. So we'll add up the electrons. We have five because nitrogen is in group 15 plus hydrogen group one, but we have four hydrogen. So we'll put parentheses around it, multiply it by four. And then this positive charge, that means we've lost an electron. So we need to subtract one. And when we do that, we get five plus four is nine minus one is eight. So we have eight valence electrons for the NH4 plus Lewis structure. We'll start by putting the nitrogen in the center of the Lewis structure, and then we'll put the hydrogens around that. So we have eight total valence electrons. Let's form chemical bonds between each hydrogen atom and then that central nitrogen. So we'll put two here. There's a chemical bond. And at this point, we've used up all eight valence electrons. The nitrogen, it has eight valence electrons around it, so it has an octet. And then hydrogen, that only needs two. So each of the hydrogens has two valence electrons around it, and it has an octet. So this is the Lewis structure for NH4+, except we need to put brackets around it and a plus sign to show that it's an ion. So that's NH4+. Now we need to do the hydroxide. So we'll start by counting the valence electrons. Oxygen is in group 16, sometimes called 6A. It has six valence electrons plus the one for hydrogen. And now we have a negative charge. That means we have an extra electron. So let's add that extra electron there. And when we do that, we have six plus one is seven, plus one, eight valence electrons for the OH minus ion. We'll start by putting the oxygen here and then put a hydrogen right next to it. Next, we'll take and make a chemical bond between the oxygen and hydrogen with a pair of electrons. Now the hydrogen has a full outer shell. It has two valence electrons. So we'll go around the oxygen and complete its octet. And now we've used all eight valence electrons, oxygen, that has a full outer shell, and then hydrogen, its outer shell is full. Much like we did with the ammonium, we need to put brackets around this and then put a negative charge to show that it's an ion. So because we have a positive and negative, those two charges are going to attract, and that's what's going to form the ionic bond. It's going to be made up of the ions, the NH4 plus ion and the OH minus ion. And when that happens, we have NH4OH. So that is the Lewis structure for NH4OH, ammonium hydroxide. It's kind of interesting. We have two covalent compounds, but because they're ions, they have a charge. So these two covalent compounds come together to form an ionic compound. It's a good idea to memorize that NH4 plus is the ammonium ion and that OH minus when it's attracted to a metal or when it's attracted to a positive ion like NH4 plus will be an ion.